Before we dive in and start downloading our virtualization software, I would like us to build a network diagram. Having a network diagram to reference will make building out your infrastructure much easier as you will have an idea as to what you're building and how you're going to be configuring your router. To start, I'll launch my web browser. Then I will navigate to the website draw.io. I'm first asked for a location to save my work. I'll choose device, which will save it to my local computer. I'll choose to create new diagram, and I'll name my diagram windowsinfrastructure.draw.io. I'll click create, and I will save my diagram directly inside of my documents folder. Now, we're brought to our workspace where we can start building our diagram. First, I'll change it to dark mode. I'll turn off grid view, but you could leave this on if you prefer. Then I'll close the get desktop message at the bottom of the screen. This is basically telling me that I can download the desktop version of draw.io if I want to. Then I'll zoom in a bit. First, in the top left hand corner of the screen, I can search for a sheep. I'll type in internet and I'll grab the cloud icon. And I'll drag it to my page. I'll make it a little bit bigger. I'll add some text and I'll call this Internet Gateway. This icon will represent my gateway to the internet. In reality, this device is my router that's connected to my ISP modem. For you, this could be similar or this can be your ISP modem if you are directly connected to it. Next, I'll search for router firewall and I'll grab the first icon. I'll name this icon OpenSense-VM. Next, I'll add a connection from my OpenSense router to my internet gateway, signifying that my OpenSense router will be connected directly to my internet gateway for external access. I will increase the size of my connection. I'll bump it up to about six points and I'll change the color to blue. Next, I'll create some more text to define my internet gateway connection. I'll give it the name one gateway. with the IP address 10.10.10.254. And if you're wondering where I got this IP address from, if you click on the start menu and search for CMD and open it, then type ipconfig, you can see my default gateway is 10.10.10.254. So that is the IP address of my one gateway. Yours could be different, something like 192.168.1.1 or maybe even 10.0.0.1. It really depends on how your network is set up. I'll add another text box and I'll name this one connection. The IP address will be through DHCP, which means my OpenSense router will automatically receive an IP address from my one gateway. For the network adapter, I'll add two called EM1 and HN1. This adapter will correspond to either VirtualBox, Hyper-V, or VMware Workstation. And I will add another text box and I'll define these for you. You don't need to type this out since you're going to be using one of these virtualization software. I just added these for you because it will make your life easier after you've chosen the software that you prefer to use. Next, let's add some machines. I'll first search for Domain Controller and I'll drag that icon to my page. And for my network, before we add this in, let's add our LAN network to OpenSense. I'll right click on my WAN connection text and I'll choose duplicate. I'll change the name to be LAN connection. The IP address will be 172.20.20.254 and that will be on a slash 24. And the network adapters will be EM0 and HN0. Perfect. Now we can assign the IP address of 172.20.20.20/24 to DCO1. And then I'll highlight all of 
DC01 and I'll duplicate that as well. I'll name this new machine DC02 with the IP address 172.20.20.21/24 and lastly I'll add a file server. I'll duplicate the text and I'll name this FS-01 with the IP address 172.20.20.22 with a slash 24. I'll add a rectangle shape to section of this network. I'll take off the fill, increase the line size, center it and connect it to my OpenSense VM. I'll change the color of the connection. I'll add a text within the box and I'll add Windows infrastructure with the IP network 172.20.20.0 slash 24 and I will bold this text. Okay, so this should be it. I just wanted us to create this diagram to reference as when we're building our servers, we can have an idea of how everything is connected and we can see the flow of traffic. So that's it for now. We've completed all of the tasks that we've set up to accomplish. We've downloaded all of our ISO files and now we've just created our network diagram. Next, let's proceed with installing our virtualization software. We'll start with Oracle VirtualBox. So I'll see you in that next video. Thank you. If you find the information helpful, please feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Thank you.